Hi everyone, welcome to Eden My Garden. Finally, it's April and it's spring and it's time to clear up the garden and it's time to prepare the soil. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare my soil ready to transplant because soil is very, very important. You need good soil, rich, so we can produce more fruits. So let's get cracking. Okay, this is the flower bed I left like that from Lush in the summer. As you could see, this was chili plant and there's a few lettuce here. I left them on purpose. I didn't want to disturb them. So just to protect the soil. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to crush them. And this is going in the compost. So we're going to keep them. It's good to get rid of the junk in our lives, right? Even in our garden. I love spring. Spring is fresh. There's new things coming up. The sun is shining brightly and it's getting warm. Summer is around the corner. And it's so therapeutic to be in the garden, taking all the weeds. You know, I like clearing up my wardrobe when spring come, any clothes I haven't been wearing, I just give them away. So I have room for new. And the Bible does say, if a tree doesn't bear fruit, what do we do? We cut the branch and throw it away. There's so many things in our lives, so many junks that the Lord is saying, get rid of them. Yes, yeah, some people might be addicted to drugs. Some people might be, say curse words. Some people might be, you know, just have bad habits. Spring is here, so it's time to just get rid of the junk so God can bring new things. And the Bible say, you know, I will make rivers in the desert, in the wilderness. God can do new things in your life. Like spring is here, new plants coming out. The bulbs trying, the daffodils trying to come out. And uh, I encourage you, anything junk in your life, cut it off. And you know, God will help you. God will guide you which way to go, but you have to be willing, really. Okay, so this is going to go in my compost. Yeah, and you see, I really didn't disturb the soil. I just, with my hand, just tidying up a bit. Just take the reed because it's good to leave the soil undig and untouched. It's called no dig because underneath there's worms, there's protein, there's goodies in the soil. So you don't want to disturb it. So now what I'm going to do here, I have some manure, some cow manure. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to just, just to get a little bit of a kick, for my soil, I'm just going to spread them everywhere and ready to plant. So I'm going to put two bags because it's a big plot. So now I'm just going to get my rake and just give it a good mix. And voila, we are ready to plant. And I'm going to show you one more thing. Actually, two more things. If you can follow me, sir. And here I had uh, beans here on this little flower bed here, this little patch. And I've cut the leaves and I just left it there over winter. And you could see it's all dried up and it's becoming so beautiful inside. Last time I opened it, there were so many worms in here and it was so beautiful, really. You see, look at that beautiful, beautiful dark soil. So this, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to crush them very small and I'm going to put compost on top. And that will be like a really, really, beautiful compost and they're going to get moist i'm going to water them and they're going to dissolve so that's something you could do as well 
And one more thing I want to show you. And the third one, I'm going to show you how I prepare my soil. Here was a bit of a jungle here. There was weeds, there was grass, and um, the soil wasn't really, really good. So I've decided only once I'm going to do that. I tilled, I really rotate the soil, really give it a good mix. I bought a little machine and I'm going to show you later what it is. Just till everywhere. You could see here, the soil has become so lovely, so soft, really beautiful. It's only once I'm going to do that. And ne next year when I plant, and I'm not going to touch the soil. I'm going to leave it like that. So to get some goodness, and I've got this fertilizer, the black cow compost. So I'm going to spread that around. Yeah, this is where my radishes will go here. I planted those radishes on the 24th of February. So now they're ready to come out. And here, as you could see, I've already planted a few here. I've got red cabbage, green cabbage. I've got uh, broccoli and Brussels sprouts. So they love cold temperature and here as well as you could see there's a lot of trees there's a lot of shade as well we get sun but partly shade so this vegetable love the shade they don't like too much heat or else they bolt so so get cracking prepare your soil and please send me pictures of your garden your vegetables and i hope that help you good soil bear good fruits and that's how we should live our life anything that's like not right lord help us and we're praying for you god bless you we love you bye new merchandise is available on our store come check it out at www.whatstore.org that's whatstore.org What Music School is now open with the best prices on the market. We have online and in-person programs for all ages. Become the player you've always dreamed of. To claim your free lesson, call now on 617-830-1804. That's 617-830-1804. Or email school at whatmusic.org. To know more, visit whatstudios.org slash school or find us on social media at whatmusicschool.